How's it going everyone? It's Gadget's Boy. Welcome to another video and to my side here we have the brand new DeLonghi Dynamica Plus. And if you're wondering to be exact, this is the Ecamm 370.95.t. So if you want to Google it and find out the exact model, you can do so by typing that in as well. In this video, we're going to be unboxing this guy and go through some of the settings, what you can do with it. And it's also got coffee link app, which I'm quite interested in. So you can send your coffee straight to the machine from your phone via Bluetooth, which is very, very cool. Before we actually unbox it, I thought we'd go through what's around the box actually, because it's quite interesting. It tells you everything that you need to know briefly before you get inside the box. For example, you can see that you get a touch screen there, you've got a phone app that's compatible with it. You can set your own settings for my coffee settings. And it gives you the kind of coffee that you can make with this at the bottom. So for example, you got espresso, you got coffee, you got long coffee, uh, you got Adopio Plus, if I'm saying that right. And then you've got coffee pot as well. So you can make a whole lot of coffee with this and you can drink it throughout the day or share with a larger group of people, for example. And then if we turn it to this side, you can get an example of the kind of coffee that you can make, what it looks like, the quality. So the longer here, it says, Latte Crema System is an exclusive DeLonghi technology, serving fresh milk, drinks, and guaranteeing the perfect density, the perfect cre uh, cream creaminess, um, if I'm saying that little right, uh, the perfect temperature until the last drop, which look, if I can make something like this out of this machine, I'm very excited. And again, at the bottom there, you get a list of the type of coffee that you can make. So you got uh, espresso macchiato, you got cappuccino, cappuccino plus, cappuccino mix, you got cafe latte, latte macchiato. You can have just a hot milk if you like to drink hot milk. And you got flat white as well, which is my favorite type of coffee. Uh, but yeah, we'll make a cappuccino today as well in this video. So do have a look at that. Stay tuned for that in a bit. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it and unbox this and see what you actually get and what it looks like. So inside the packaging, you get your power cord, you get the hot water spout, you got this scaler, you got a coffee scoop, you got a cleaning brush, a milk container, and you've got instruction manual as well, and you got water hardness test indicator paper. The instruction manual comes in various languages, so again, don't be worried about the size of all this paperwork that you see in the packaging itself. There's also a water filter available as well, in case you want to filter your water out. Uh, so you can plug that in into the water tank, which you can then uh, use to run your water through and make sure your water is nicely filtered. Around the device itself, starting from the top, you got your beans container lid, which you can remove and put your coffee in there. And then you've also got an area where you can put a pre-ground coffee uh, funnel lid as well. So in here is where you can have like a pre-ground coffee, pour it in there. Uh, and you're good to go. Inside there as well, you've got your grinding adjustment dial so you can adjust how fine you want your beans uh, to be ground. So adjust that accordingly. So I think the finer it is, the stronger the coffee might be as well. And then on, on top as well, once you close that lid, you've got your cup shelf. So once you finish using it, you can put, put your cup on there to drain it, for example. And then you've got your power button to turn it on, which is right up top as well, as you can see there. And if we turn it around on the back, you've got your power port and also your power button so you can press that to set this to be powered on. Round to the front you got your hot water connection nozzle so you can connect your uh, hot water spout into this area as well as your milk container as well so you can place that there when you need to do so. Next to it under that monitor you got your coffee spouts which is adjustable as well depending on what uh, cup size you've got and then you got condensate tray you got coffee grounds container there as well and a cup tray you got a drip tray water level indicator you got a drip tray grill, you got your drip tray as well, I'm saying a lot of drip here. On the side you have your water tank and you've got your water softener filter housing as well. You've got your infuser door, so in the infuser you can take that out if you need to do so. On the front you have your 3.5 inch TFT monitor and this is where, this is a touch screen as well, so this is where all the magic happens uh, in terms of setting, it, setting things up, selecting what coffee you want, selecting your profile and settings, menu and so on. So uh, for example we have your Bluetooth activation symbol right at the top. If you look there, you got your energy saving active symbol as well. You got selected aroma, so you can select how flavorsome you want your coffee to be. You got your directly selected beverages as well, so you can press the button and select which one you want, like cappuccino, espresso, coffee, latte macchiato, and so on. You can scroll across as well by tapping that arrow button to see more coffee options. And you've got quantity selected uh, option as well, so you'd let you know how big, how large you want your coffee to be, whether it's long, whether it's short. Uh, nice espresso, you can select that size there as well. You get your descale required alarm as well, which pops up when that's needed. Uh, you might not see this in this video because it's not needed right now. And then you get your milk container needs cleaning alarm, so if you need to clean in, do so as well. And then you get your filter needs replacement alarm. Again, you might not see this here because it doesn't require those right now. 
Below that menu is where you can select different things as well. So you got your beverage quantity selection, you got profile selection. So you can set up up to three uh, profiles on this and have a guest option as well. You got your appliance settings menu. So you press this to set things like your Bluetooth settings to connect to your smartphone. So you can send different coffees to your machine, which is pretty cool. And then you got your exit button. So you can press this to go back uh, from any selected function and go back to the main menu anytime you want. You've got My Beverages selection menu and with the My Beverages button, unless you've previously programmed it from the settings menu, the beverage uh, is programmed directly for the first time, uh, sorry, directly the first time you use the appliance, so you just select that for you. On the milk container itself, you've got your froth adjustment and clean dial, so you can adjust how frothy you want your coffee to be. And before you use it, you have to put it into clean to clean it. And after you've used it, you, prep, you go back to clean dial to clean it as well. So you always clean that nozzle, which is pretty cool. You got milk container lid, you got your milk container itself, and you got your underneath here, if you take it out, you got your milk intake tube. So it's already pre-installed here. And then you got your frothed milk spout, which goes straight into your cup, where your, mil where your milk gets frothed and drips into the cup. So that's it for around the device and everything that you get uh, inside the packaging. But now onto setting this up, it's very easy. Takes a few minutes, uh, a couple of minutes or a few minutes if that, and then you're ready to go, ready to start serving yourself uh, some coffee. I'll also show you how to set up the smartphone as well so you can connect it and start sending coffee to your machine, which is pretty futuristic. So setting this up for the first time, you plug it into your mains uh, and you power it on. And the first thing you come across is selection of languages. So there are various languages available. Uh, you can go across the pages to see what language suits you for me it's english so i select english here and then you take out the water tank itself and the water tank you fill it up with water and then you put it back into the machine insert the hot water spout uh, onto the left side of the machine insert it there and make sure you get uh, an empty tray uh, or sorry an empty uh, bowl or something to put underneath this because when you first run this it's going to spout spill out some hot water at first to, to run through some cleaning and so on and once you do that it switches itself off and then you power it back on and when you power it back on, then some more water drips out from the actual coffee drip uh, area. Again, put the bowl there to save yourself from spilling it anywhere. And then top up some coffee on top, put some coffee in there, and then you can start making coffee. If you wanna add some milk as well, add some milk into your milk tray, into your milk tank, put it in there. Uh, ideally use some skimmed milk uh, or something that's slightly skimmed and cold temperature as well from the fridge. Uh, put it into that water, um, milk tank and insert it into where the uh, water spouts would normally be so take that out and put your milk in there instead. The great things about the DeLonghi machine here, the Dynamica Plus, is the fact that you get a really good quality coffee here, fresh coffee beans of your choice and fresh milk. The Dynamica Plus produces that top quality coffee with your uh, taste, whatever you want. You can customize it as well, which is really cool. And then you get that latte crema system, uh, latte crema system to produce the perfect milk for your coffee, and that provides a dense microfoam froth texture uh, for a creamy for creamy cappuccinos, for example, which is something I really like, and I love my latte as well, and flat white uh, if I need to do so. And this is very convenient as well because the Dynamica Plus means uh, you can uh, press whatever you want, at, you can create whatever kind of coffee you want, uh, deliver what kind of coffee you want at the touch of a button. So if you wanted a cappuccino, you just press cappuccino and it does everything automate, automated uh, or automatically for you. So the Dynamica Plus is very, very good for this kind of style of coffee making. And you've also got that personalization as well. So using that My Function tool, which is exclusive to DeLonghi, uh, you can create your own coffee the way you like it. You can adjust the amount of coffee, the strength, uh, the aroma, the milk froth, and even the temperature to suit your preference as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, you can even use that uh, Bluetooth mobile app as well on your phone. So I'm using on an iPhone, for example, you can use it to send different coffee to your machine. Uh, you can even create everything you need to do from the palm of your hands. Uh, so it's all about that personalization, convenience and quality as well. So in the app itself, you can see that I've got my name there, which is my profile. I can then select all different kind of coffees uh, that's available and prepare it, send it to the machine and it starts making it. Uh, if we go here, if I tap the menu here, you've got your statistics, uh, you've got machine settings and app settings as well. In the machine settings itself, you can change the name of the machine to suit your need if you like to do so. You've got auto off, so you can set how long it stays on before it just shuts off by itself to save energy. You can see the level of your water hardness as well and that you've set, uh, you've got a water filter installed. I can press yes, which I do, so I press yes. Um, and then it can guide you to how to install it, replace it and so on. And then if we just go back to your beverages, so here you can see the most prepared ones that I've done so far. Uh, you can make a new one as well by going in here and then and do make a new beverage. Uh, so you can do customization as well. So if we go make a new beverage, select the glass. So I've got kind of a tall glass here. So I've got the tallest one that I can think of. If I press go, 
can say you want coffee and then you can select out your aroma is going to be the coffee quality so coffee, coffee quality for me maybe like halfway through there uh, coffee temperature I don't want it too hot that's perfect for me uh, the aroma I think I'm going to go a bit higher there uh, a little bit uh, press that and then do I, do I want milk with it yes I want a bit of milk uh, with my coffee just a little bit not too much I can add that to it as well delivery first coffee then milk uh, as you can see there um, and then you can press go so if I press go save that uh, I can rename it I can then uh, go on and prepare it so if I just press prepare here you can then see that it's preparing it now And there you go, so my coffee is ready. I can then take that and start drinking my coffee as I wish to do so, so I can save that. Uh, for example, if I'm happy with it, I'll save it. If not, I can edit it, prepare again, and so on. So you can see it there. And I can add other, you know, my own preferences. I can add my own custom uh, coffee there again to do more like so. Uh, otherwise, you've got a classic coffee there, which we'll prepare one as well now, just to show you how that works. Or perhaps we'll do that on the machine this time, so you see how that works as well. So after you've prepared your coffee, the first thing the machine will tell you to do is also clean it. So you just turn the nozzle, uh, you turn the dial here. So I just remove this for a second. We can then turn this on to clean. And that will clean that nozzle there to make sure that it's always got the fresh milk coming out of it, the fresh froth for your coffee. Okay, fresh cup. And then we're gonna create uh, something else. So if we do uh, cappuccino, so if you go cappuccino, adjust the froth, uh, turn the froth dial, so adjustment dial, so we're trying to turn it to the frothiest one that I can, I can uh, afford to have there. So then it begins the process of making me uh, a cappuccino. And just like that, within a few minutes, my cappuccino is ready. I can then go ahead and drink that. So that's it for the Dynamica Plus uh, from DeLonghi. And you can see it looks really nice and I'm ready to drink my coffee. Uh, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions as well, feel free to drop those questions in the comments area as well. All re relevant link will be in the description area, so do check it out. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know when there's a new video on this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.